Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's Division Three non-conference contest between between the Rhode Island College Anchorman and the Bridgewater State University Bears. I'm Mike Giamarco, alongside is Jarrell James. Evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Murray Center, where tonight and the Anchorman will the Murray face Center. the Bridgewater State University Bears in a non-conference matchup. And now. Let's meet the so starting lineups. Let's take it to the court, game. to the lineups. For the visiting Bears, a guy, a six foot junior from East Freetown, Massachusetts. Number two, Tyler Irvin Camillo. At center, a six five senior from Mansfield, Massachusetts. Number three, co captain Michael Lawson. At guard, a six foot sophomore from New City, New York. Number 10, Patrick McGinnis. At guard, a six-foot senior from Yarmouth Port, Massachusetts. Number 14, co-captain Justin Clark. And at four, a six-foot senior from Franklin, Massachusetts. Number 33, co-captain Kyle Gibson. here for tip off is Rhode Island College looks to take on Bridgewater State. And as we looked at uh, the game before this, we had the women's game in which Bridgewater defeated Rhode Island College by 1.68-67 in overtime nonetheless. So the stands are filling up here as we're ready to tip things off. Yo, does the referee look just like Steve Nash? He really does. Yeah. So we got Chris Burton here, the center for Rhode Island College, tipping it off and wins it. And it, Aline with the ball. Nice pick by Burton. Aline up off looking for the for the alley there and we're sorry that we did not the coach did not give us the correct roster for Bridgewater State so we will be calling by number for now until we get an update 10 passes the corner 14 and he's called out of bounds so Anchorman with the ball Burton to inbound Burton gives it to Aline How do you feel about this game, Mike? I feel like it's going to be a, I think it's going to be very evenly matched, to be honest. And I think it's going to be a good game. I think we stand a good chance. It's Burton with the ball now, and he loses it out of bounds, and it's going to be Bridgewater ball. Let's see what kind of defense Rick's got. I'm going to guess a man defense, but let's man. see. It's like man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're playing man. Yep. Ooh. And that's an alley -oop. Great play there. 
<laughs> like Bridgewater <laughs> to open up the game. First point for the game. Oh, that was that was very nice. So a lead with <laughs> the ball. Could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> a lead dumping it down. And one. And Ten. Tribble. Tribble scores and he's got the and one. Fair call. Charge against number two, Tyler Camillo. Apparently we have an angry <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he is, but <laughs> wherever he is. And he misses. But we get the rebound. For rebound by Aline. Aline passes it to Tribble. Tribble up to Neil. Neil back to Aline. Aline, top of the key. Moves over to the right side. Nice pick by Burton as he rolls in, and Aline can't score. Rebound by Neal, who puts it in. Neal! Neal listed as 6-6. One of the taller guys out there. Big guy. So Bridgewater State, 10 with the ball. And good defensive play by Neal. A lot of physical. Two. Drops it back to three. Push off. Yeah. 33 with the ball. Passes it. 14, three, knocks it down. Just clock for three. So five, four, Bridgewater State, a lean with the ball. It's a fast start. Oh yeah. A lean gives it to Tribble, Tribble to Neil. Neil back to a lean. Back to Burton for three, and he misses it. A little strong, and Aline with the rebound. It's gonna be Bridgewater ball. Is he gets a five second violation. Neil there to console. Oh, oh sorry, I, am I am completely distracted. Who is yelling? I, you know, I'm not sure. I think it's someone behind us. I don't <laughs> want to look. <laughs> Wait a second. That's a coach. Him, yeah, but we did hear somebody else. Okay. Just checking. 10 to 14. 14 passes back to three at the top of the key. He passes it to two. Back to three. Three nice moving it around down low to 33. Nice Puts it block. up and blocked by Chris Burton. And the stands are still filling up. Good. Good. And a nice pass out to 14 on the inbound to three. Three with the ball and knocks it down. That was knocks down the hook shot there. Good defense. Yeah. Good offense. That was a good play. Yeah. Aline with the ball, calling up the play. Aline passes it to Tribble. Looks like Bridgewater is playing the 2-3 zone. Tribble to Scheider. Looks like completely yeah, reversed. Right. Completely reversed from the last game. Three up, no good. Rebound, backed up to Scheider. He couldn't get the pass there to Neal. Just out of his reach. How do you feel about the switch? Whereas uh, Bridgewater followed the anchor women, and, mm. <laughs> and anchor men followed the Bears. Yeah, 10, In into the game, Jarrell Washington five, Patrick and Patrick Matthews. Into in for Tribble. Mike Neal and Terrence Tribble. No, this is Washington's first home game ever. Is at it? Rhode Island College. This is our first home game. Saturday. Pardon? Saturday we had a home game. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Bridgewater scores. Excuse me. Ah, that's all right. Aline passes it back. Washington back three. Schneider's three is no good. Rebound by 33. Gets it to 14. Back to 33. Top of the key, and they got a reach in reaching? on Burton. Yeah. Yeah. Anchorman personal foul, charge number 13, Chris Burton. That's his first personal foul, team first. 
Steve Nash with the call there. <laughs> This guy might be a little younger than Steve Nashville. 33 for three, no good. And rebound, 10 out of nowhere, just puts it right back up and in. And that's a timeout from the anchor man as they, it's 11-4 to start off the game. What are you thinking? <laughs> nothing? You got nothing? I, I've <laughs> it took me a while to answer because, you know, I was just thinking about yeah. you know, the defense and you know, all that good stuff. It seems like Bridgewater State, they're huge. Yeah. So, I mean, their 2 3 would be different they from the other 2 3 because they're, they're filling up spaces. Right. So, I mean, it's essentially the same thing as man. Like, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you just stretch their arms out. These guys got, I mean, have none of these guys I don't think are under six feet. Yeah, you're right. So, Washington back to a lean. So, Aline, Washington, Scheider, Matthews, and Burton are on the floor right now. And they'll wave the shot off. Who's that? Double call? Is that hmm. what that was? Fair personal foul, number 33, Kyle Gibson. Okay. That's his first personal, team second. Anchorman foul, charge number five. Patrick yeah, Matthews. double fouls. Double fouls? That's his first personal foul. And Matthews, team second. up and in. Bridgewater's been off to a fast lead. Yeah. Three up, and no good. Rebound to Lean. Passes it to Scheider. Scheider in. He was fouled. He was fouled. It was a, was a nice block after the foul. Yeah. Fair foul, charger number 10, Pat McGinnis. That's his first personal. So Scheider at the third. line. And he knocks down the first. Joel Washington's at the line, shooting two. Wrong person, buddy. Fair substitution, number 30. <laughs> Rocky DeAndre. Hey, we got it right, though. So he makes one of two, rebound three. Good foul Bridgewater. on Bridgewater. Yeah. Curdy with the ball. Nice defense by Aline. 33 to 30. Curdy moving it back to three. Over on the white right wing now, moving it into the key. That's within a that's back within corner a three. Air mails it. Aline rebound. Bringing it up past half court. Nice save there by Washington. Nice pass down to Matthews, and he'll get the foul. And he also, he also, uh, he sold that one too. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, wasn't that bad? That was <laughs> a pretty good sell. All right. No hesitation. That 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 foul. It was a foul, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Media nice timeout. Foul. Yeah, media timeout. That means we get our stats. <laughs> at, least I, at least I think so. What if we had them? PepsiCo. Every day, Pepsi encourages people like you and me to live for now. So what are you waiting for? Grab a Pepsi and so some friends. We're here on Anchor TV. There. It's time to live for now. Mike Giamarco Tommy alongside Jarrell James. Delivery quality since 1955. And it's 11-7 in favor of Bridgewater State right now. How you feeling about the game so far? I feel like it's going to be a faster game than the, the previous one. Oh, okay. what? How so? Every aspect of the game. Be sure to tune in at 7 p.m. on Wednesday for Student Community Government's Parliament Meeting 
live at 7 p.m. on Anchor TV and AnchorTV.org. Be sure to tune in at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Give me your explanation first. <laughs> yeah. I would have to say this, <laughs> this is going to be a nice, highly competitive game. I just feel like um, there's a little more intensity in this game than the last one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Yeah, for obvious reasons. So now, thank you to our uh, our uh, update guy over here. We got correct rosters for both teams. Pat Matthews is at the line, shooting two. So Pat Matthews will be shooting two. He knocks down the first. We have Rhode Island College a little cold at the line right now, 0 for 3. And now, 2 for 5. You know? So, DeAndre with the ball passes it to Clark. Okay. Clark back to DeAndre and picked off by Burton. Burton moves it, couldn't score it. Oh, gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Oh. And it's a tie game. Right back in the game. Ball from 14. So Rhode Island College ball as it goes off of Clark. Matthews passes it into a lean. The lean being played tight by Clark. As they switch back to a man now, also. Ooh, and, and it's one. Gonna be a foul, and one. So Aline scores. Fair foul, charge number 14, Justin Clark. That's his first personal. Foul on Justin Steve Clark. Fair. Eric Aline's at the line, shooting one. That was a nice, that was a nice and one. Absolutely. Fair substitution, number two, Tyler DeMello. So Tyler DeMello. Comes in for Justin Clark. And the shot's good. Nice three point play. 14 11, Rhode Island College. Another steal. And picked off by Jarrell Washington. Passes to a lead. Back to Burton. Oh, with the dime. it. <laughs> <laughs> and timeout, Bridgewater State. A much needed timeout. Timeout. Bears. You can practically feel the momentum shift. 30 second timeout. So as we look at the stats here through a couple minutes, a little off to a slow start for Rhode Island College. Going three, uh, as of then three of seven now, a little better than that as we have the lead by five right now, 16-11. See if we can keep the pressure on. Chris Burton with four points so far. Actually, it's funny. That dunk looked like it's just a revenge shot because they could have got the layup. Yeah. Easy. It's like, you know what? You give us the ticket alley, you will take a dunk. Right. And Pat Matthews also with four so far. And yeah, ever since that first couple of minutes, seems like we've regrouped and looking a lot better since then. Yeah, a little slower start, but... um. That steal led to a nice fast break dunk. Like I said before, fast breaks are gonna win it. I believe um, after that dunk, um, Bridgewater's gonna have to do a little fighting. Yeah. Cause you know, although it's two points, that, that dunk is a uh, real mood kill, <laughs> a momentum killer. So on the court for Rhode Island College is Burton, Aline, Jarrell Washington, Pat Matthews, and Mike Neal. Oh, another and steal. Picked off by Washington again. Run on the court with a pass down to Matthews for two. That's a nice assist from Washington. Nice shot from Matthews. Another steal. So Lofton and then picked off again by Washington, who puts Washington it in this time score. by himself. Washington. So McGinnis is going to be coming in in a sec for us. 
and they're gonna call a foul on Rhode Island College. Rhode Island up by nine. As clock and McInnes are gonna come back in. For DeAndre and Anchorman foul, charge number 13. DeMello. Chris Burton. That's his second personal. Team third. Anchorman substitution. Chris Burton also out. Terrence Tribble. Bears in favor of Tribble. And number 10, Pat McInnes. <laughs> <laughs> the coaches became a referee for yep. a second. Yep. But it's back. It stays with Bridgewater. <laughs> <laughs> Another they get it into Clark. It saves it. Nice save there. McGinnis with the ball. It's funny. Um, Ryan Clark is taking advantage every of every single law pass they've thrown. Yeah. Lofton. No, no pass to save. Passes it to Clark. Corner. Three. Misses it. Rebound, Neal. Neal passes it to Aline. Aline to Washington. Washington back to Aline. Up near center court. Aline moves around. And nice, nice job there by Neal, too, as it's picked off by Gibson. Gibson running the floor. And nice defense by Matthews, who comes away there with the rebound go. there, too. So Aline. Going up by himself and he puts it in. That's five points for Aline. So McGinnis with the ball, passing it to Gibson. Gibson down to Lofton. And that's gonna be that was a good on foul. Rhode Island College. Yeah, that was a good foul. He has a little mix <coughs> mix match right there. Yeah. So stopped a little layup. Anchorman foul, charge number 10, Jarrell Washington. That's his first personal, team four. Anchorman substitution number 23, Roosevelt Scheider. So Scheider replaces Aline. Clark with the ball at the top of the key. Passes it down, and McGinnis scores. Pat McGinnis. Right off the glass. Jarrell Washington with the ball. Nice pick by Neal. Washington to Tribble to Scheider. Scheider controlling the ball. Gets it back to Washington. Nice pick by Matthews is Washington. Pop and pop. And no good. Rebound Lofton. Lofton kind of looks like Kevin Durant. <laughs> My skill. Ah. <laughs> Washington rebound. And another nice screen from uh, Matthews. Schneider. Back to Matthews to Tribble. Oh. Tribble up, and they're going to call the foul. Again, it was another nice clean block. That was a nice after, clean block. After the foul. Their personal foul, charge against number three, Mike Walton. That's his first personal, team six. Terrence Tribble's up the line, shooting two. We have another referee in the stands. <laughs> so Tribble uh. misses the first. As Aline comes in for Matthews. Anchorman substitution, number 24, Eric Aline. Replaces Pat Matthews. So it's like, Rick's going small. Hmm? Yeah, Rick's going smaller. Yeah. He misses them both. So Clark passes it to 23. Back to Clark. 21 with the ball. Back to McGinnis. McGinnis shot. Looking, no for, that, looking for the foul. Oh. And Neil somehow escaping that collision. They're too small. Ooh, a nice job there <laughs> by Scheider. Roosevelt Scheider with a nice uh, 
nice play there. That was a nice play. And so 23 with the ball, nice pick there by Lofton. Picked up by 11. Lofton working around. Nice, block. nice block by Tribble. Oh, and oh, travel. They're going to call travel. Yeah, I got the six. He stepped before he, he before he passed it. Yeah, but you can step as long as you don't move your pivot. Here's substitution number 24. Right. Fawaz <laughs> Mads. I don't, I don't agree with that call. Yeah, sometimes they'll call him, sometimes they won't. Nice defense. So Rick Ball. So how are you feeling about the game so far? I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. More intense. Stands filling up. Double digit lead. Double digit uh yeah, double digit lead. A lean no good from three point land. Yeah, Washington has his hands all over the ball. Yeah. And Matthews going to be coming back in soon. So 23. 23 working on Washington. Yeah, knocks it down. Tyler Murphy. Tyler Murphy, another Irish guy for them. Got Pat McGinnis and Tyler Murphy. Neil, a near turnover there from, but Aline saving it. Working on the wing, coming back up top of the key. That's a Scheider, no good. Rebound, Washington up, no good. I think it's gonna be Bridgewater ball. I believe they stopped thinking it was gonna be a kick. Yeah. Anchorman substitution, number five, Pat Matthews. So Pat Matthews in for Mike Neal. So McGinnis. And we got, what do we got here? Anchorman personal ball, charge number five, Pat Matthews. That's his second personal. So Matthews right back out and Neal back in. Mike Neal replaces Pat Matthews. Twenty-three driving in, drops it down. Nice foul. That was a nice foul. We'll see in a second if it was. <laughs> right. He didn't even earn that shot though. Yeah. Anchorman ball, charge to number 10, Jarrell Washington. So Washington. It's his second first personal. Second foul. Team six. Second foul. My source is at the line, shooting two. So Soares misses it first, it was a good foul. Told you. <laughs> it's not a Time good, <coughs> so good, it's not a good foul if you miss, huh? I mean, it's not a good foul if they bo make both of them. Yeah. I believe uh, Kadeem Francis is going to be coming in. I thought I just saw him come off the bench there. Navigate Credit Union is a proud sponsor of Renown College Athletics. Since 1915, they have provided Renowners with unparalleled financial products and services. Visit Navigate Credit Union online at navigatecu.org. Uncle Tony's Pizza and Pasta, now located at 46 Putnam Pike, Johnston, Rhode Island. Since 1969, a Rhode Island tradition serving award-winning pizza, pasta, salads, and more at affordable prices. I believe this is a full timeout. Seems to be. Anchor TV bringing you this presentation of the Anchorman against the Bridgewater State University Bears. As Rhode Island College has a 24-15 lead here. Everything they're doing is just it's working out so far. Thank you for our reporter, uh, news reporter here.
giving us the papers, giving us the updates. And it looks like Ryan College is at 52% from field goal, from the field goal range. So Kadeem Francis comes in for Rhode Island College. It's Francis, Neal, Tribble, Aline, and Scheider. Aline with the ball, passes it to Scheider. Scheider passes it to Francis. Francis back to Scheider and then tipped out of bounds. Stays here by McGinnis. Coach is very energetic. Aline with the ball. Back to Scheider for three, misses it. The rebound, Scheider with it. Ball. It's gonna be Bridgewater ball. So if you look at the three point percentage, the first half for Allen College, they're 0 for 4. However, they've made half their 50% from the free throw line and 52% from the field goal range, hmm. which is Overall, better than Bridgewater with 20% at the three-point line, but they only went Mercy, one. No good. Only going one for five and 43.8% from the field goal range. Going seven for 16. We got a foul on Gibson. Hey, 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 hey. Foul personal foul. Charge number 33. Foul Gibson. That's his second personal. And it's already going to be one and one here. Oh, wow, well, they're not uh, wearing the bonus? Yeah. Excellent. Actually, six Fair minutes to go is even lower scoring than the other game was. was. No. It's close. Eric at the line, shooting yes, actually, ball. it's really close. Yeah. Aline knocks down the first. But not nearly as many shots, I don't believe. No. So a lean at the line. We got Francis, Scheider, Tribble, and Neal on the floor. It's for Rhode Island College. He knocks him down. 26-15, 11 point lead. So Lofton with the ball. Has it to 15. Lofton with it again. To Mass. Mass back to Lofton. They're going to call it off anyways. Uh, elbow? I, have, I don't know. Oh. Is That's his first Too busy watching Rhode Island College's coach. Minutes. Very energetic. <laughs> so Mass will be at the line. And he misses it. And rebound from Francis. Aline bringing it up, calling a play. Kick by Tribble, but no good as Neal gathers it, puts it in for two. And it's the anchorman, up by 13. With five minutes to go. And they lose the ball. And Neal tracks it down, it should be Rhode Island College ball. It is. Bridgewater ball. Ooh. Not sure either ref had a clear uh, view of that one. Uh, Steve Nash knows what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I think Steve Nash got it wrong. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> so 15 to inbound it here. Uh, it's going to look like Shawn Michaels. The ref? <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> John Michaels just retired. I still don't see it. I see it. <laughs> so Lofton over to Murphy who scores. So Aline with the ball. How do you feel about low top shoes in the basketball game? Break your ankles. I disagree with them. Aline, and he gets the foul. 
Nice job. Like nice. Paul Pierce there drawing the foul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Pierce is not part of Celtics. How do you know him now? <laughs> Paul Pierce, my all-time favorite basketball player. Yeah, that's funny. Do you like him now or do you like him? Oh, yeah. He still talks up Boston. Are you kidding me? He always says that he regrets them getting rid of him. Oh, yeah, because they got rid of him. Yeah. I know these Celtics fans are very vindictive. And Aline misses the first. Is that his first miss? I believe so. Yep. And he makes the second. Look at a good three. three. Yeah, that's three point line. That's a Dwayne Wade right there shot. Pierce. Uh, Dwayne Wade. Nah. He invented that <laughs> pump fake jump into you. He invented that. But oh, then again, Paul oh Pierce is a dinosaur, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so two out of three for Aline. And DeAndre passes it to 15. 15 down to Lofton who scores. Aline with the ball. Running another play. They switch from uh, zone to man. When does this happen? Oh, they've been doing that on and off all game. Okay. Aline looking for the shot himself. Was that charge? And they're gonna get yeah, offensive foul. He was set up outside. Good play. So Aline called for the charge. A team limit. And yeah, yeah, it was. Fair substitution, number 14, Justin Clark. Replaces Pat Murphy. So Clark is back in for Murphy. DeAndre passes it to Mass. He gets it to 15, who passes it to back to DeAndre. Long three, no good. Back rims it. Rebound, Aline. Aline with the ball. Pass center court. Nice screen there set by, by Neal. They give it to Francis. Francis moving around. Top of the key. Shot, no good. Neal, rebound. Scheider, back to Neal. The two in the foot. What was that, no charge? Shot. Yeah. Another one? Yeah. Anchorman offensive ball, charge number 23. Okay, I don't, I don't agree with that shot. That uh, one, no, call. that one, no. The first one, yes, but not this one. That was clean. Who called it? Nash? Steve Nash. Ah. <laughs> DeAndre passed back to Mass. Mass driving in. And now, now why didn't they call that one? Oh, uh, because he didn't sell it. You're right. He didn't sell it good enough. He, he didn't got the flop. <laughs> he knows to get one of those things. Yeah, gotta be like Wade. The king of that. Actually, LeBron, LeBron still <laughs> may be. <laughs> <laughs> Lift flop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, Lee decided not to take yeah, the three. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it'd been a great shot. I thought he was gonna pop it too. Nice screen set by Scheider. Nice take. Nice take. Hey. Triple. I'm sorry, not Scheider. Ali was the good take. Mm -hmm. Triple. So 15 long three for Bridgewater knocks it down. The Bridgewater refusing to quit. Coming within eight points. Single digits. Aline to Neil. Neil gives it back to Aline. Aline with it on the left wing. Moves it over to the top of the key, driving it in. And Neil with the and one. Like Neil's a cleanup man, huh? Oh yeah. Fair foul. Charge number three, Mike Lofton. That's his second personal. Looks that's like Mike Neil's, Mike Neil's gonna come with a triple, I mean with a double double today. Mike Neil and also uh Jonathan Fairchild. Aileen? And possibly Aileen. Mike Neal's quite a few wall. assists. Yeah. Three. As, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a yeah. As the six minutes remaining. 
Now we're at one and a half. Neil knocks it down. So DeAndre with the ball. Passes it to Mass. Mass to 25. He gets it to 15. Back to DeAndre. 25 with the ball. And he loses it out of bounds. And it'll be Rhode Island College ball with a minute 10 remaining in the first half. So Tribble passes it in to a lead. To a lead. Nice pick by Tribble. Aline open three, misses it. And rebound by Tribble. Can't get it back up and in. Clark to Mass. And they're gonna give Aline. Ackerman personal foul, yeah. charge number 24. I, I didn't see that. Eric Aline. It was a foul. It was a foul? Yeah, that one was. Okay, I didn't, I didn't see that one. Because there's uh, quite a few people in Hawaii. For Wise, Maz is at the line, shooting two. Maz, I've been saying mass the whole time. <laughs> he misses the first, ball don't lie. Accurate substitution, number 50, Brian Renault. Replaces Eric Aline. So Brian Renault in for Aline as they go bigger now. Renault 6'4. Dribble to Francis. Francis working it up past half court. Neil, nice screen. Renault with the ball. Renault turns it over. DeAndre with the steal. DeAndre back to Clark. To 25. Back to 15 for three. Misses it. And Renault. Now Francis with the ball. Oh, they are going big. Yeah. It's going to be a kick ball. He tried to thread the needle that time. Um. <laughs> Rhode Island College ball with, with eight tenths of a second left. Oh, snap. <laughs> I was paying attention to that. So it's halftime here. The score, Rhode Island College, 35, Bridgewater State University, 25, right here on Anchor TV. And we're back for the second half here. Rhode Island College, 35, Bridgewater State University, 25. And uh, it's been a good game so far. All things considered, Rhode Island College going 50% from the field in the first half. And Bridgewater State, not, not much worse at 47.8, about 48%. So Rhode Island College will have the ball here. Looks like and the starting lineup is in for Rhode Island College. I mean, the game's really close, but defensively, it seems like we're up with two blocks and six steals. So they're one steal, they're three steals and no blocks. Yeah. We're, they're, they're up by, I mean, we have one turnover over them. Aline with the ball. Passes it to Tribble. Tribble. Nice screen by Burton. Gives it back to Scheider and they're gonna they're gonna give an offensive foul. Steve Nash making the call. I'm not Steve sure Nash, about that what one. Gives? Yeah. I wish we could have a and mic on the on goal. the coach. That would be great. Oh to hear what he's saying? Oh yeah. McGinnis no, he passes saying. it to Clark, to Lawson, passes it down, and Gibson couldn't handle it. Rhode Island College ball. You know, I think we were winning mostly on oh, the rebound. We're doubling yeah. the rebound. Yeah, absolutely. Like, their team is probably on paper bigger, but, mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to being physical, down low, we, yeah, are, right. we are killing them. Absolutely. Aline with the ball. Passes it back to Scheider. Scheider to Neal. Neal back to Aline. Neal 
top of the key with the ball. Got 10 seconds. And ooh, Scheider just couldn't score it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The rebounding. With the rebound. Eileen with the ball. Eileen to Tribble. Tribble gives it to Scheider. Scheider. Nice oh, block. a nice block there by Lofton. Kevin Durant. <laughs> On who? And that's a foul on Bridgewater okay. State. Okay. I was about to say. Yeah, no. Good job, Nash. <laughs> that's the <a> first, <laughs> first time we've been saying that in <laughs> years. That's his second personal team first. Phoenix Suns days. Now look at you. Yeah. You're a ref. <laughs> Burton passes <laughs> it to Aileen. Anyways, you see all these second chances that uh, Rick's yeah. getting? They're just dominating. Off the ball. Pass to Burton. Burton moving in. Floater no good. And another, another rebound. rebound. Dribble to Aline, who brings it back almost to center court. Burton it, handing it down and. Out apparently is Bridgewater. And Sh yeah, Shida wasn't able to handle it. Bridgewater ball. McGinnis bringing it up court. You like that name, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down to Lofton, and Durant scores. Lofton scores. Aline with the ball. Got it by Clark. Pass to Scheider. Scheider. Pass up to Neal. Hands it back to Scheider. Scheider, top of the key. Moving the team around. Shot up and he knocks it down. Alin. Great shot there. Blocking foul? No. Waiting for the call. Anchoring foul, charge number 45. Yeah. Mike Neal. That's his first personal. So foul on second. Neal. And Gibson will go to the line. Foul. Gibson's at the line. Shooting two. 37 27, Rhode Island College. Gibson knocks down the first. And Washington coming in for Scheider. Substitution number 10, Jarrell Washington. Replaces Roosevelt Scheider. So, good foul. Little strong. <laughs> yeah, little strong on the second shot. Aline controlling. Washington with the ball. Move it in and they're going to call it travel. Travel violation. That was a good call. Yeah. Right on, still up by nine. Uh, lean plane on McGinnis, who gets it to, to Clark, who throws it up for Lofton, but couldn't get him there. Clark, three, no good. Rebound. Hmm. They'll say Burton was out of bounds when he went to try to save it. Lofton gets it into Clark to McGinnis. Top of the key, driving down. Pass to DeMello. DeMello. Kicks it out. Clark, long three, no good. Rebound, Washington. Washington working the ball. Just a triple. Back to Aline. Oh, 
Aline dumps it to the corner. Washington up. To Aline on the wing. Down to Burton. Burton. Shot no good. A good job there. Coach good calling timeout. Good timeout. 30 second timeout. Anchorman. So looks like Pat Matthews is going to come in now. I think the coach is chewing up right now. Yeah. I oh, mean, he's got guys wide open and he goes for that shot. Warwick Mall, shopping, dining, movies. We're Christmas here on Anchor TV. Brought to you by, yeah, uh, come up with something. I got nothing. Brought to you by <laughs> Anchor TV. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Pat Hurd. Yeah, brought to you by Tom Pat Hurd and T Dollar Sign. The living today. legend Nick Rose. And Darrell James. Love every sip. And Mike Giamarco. This and Mike Giamarco. And Darrell James. And Darrell Revis. And what? that too. <laughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> and Scott Gibbons. You'll see why we're so good. You said Nick Rose? Yeah. <laughs> His constituents. <laughs> all of his constituents? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Not just some of them. So great game we have here, though. Rhode Island College up by nine. Is got another guy to thank in a second. Is got our news kid coming over to bring us another update. They like playing this song. I've heard this four, five, six, seven, eight what times. What is the name of the song? I don't even know. Apparently it's not a song. Yeah. It's just like a little <laughs> beat with everything. Oh, uh, thank so you. So Matthews and for, for Neil, thank you very much. So we got another update. Yes, we do. And Burton is going to get to the line. Matthews came in for Neil, by the way, over the break. Number two, Tyler DeMello. That's his third personal, team second. Chris Burton's at the line, shooting two. And he makes his first. So Barrett Murphy coming in. Fair substitution. In about five minutes. Barrett Murphy. Bridgewater has only managed to take three shots. Yeah. While Brown College has made five, has um, attempted five shots. What's that say about the defense? It says we're uh, both defenses are playing good, I guess. To me, I mean, watching the game and looking at the score and stuff. Yeah. I have to say that Burton. Our, our second chance points are really taken away by McGinnis. Pass Lofton. Ooh. He scores uh, an N1. N1. I get what you're saying though completely. Yeah our second chance points are really if we could finish on our second chance points this and game would be further than what it is now. Absolutely. So Eileen with his third Team foul. Mike at the and line. they're keeping him in. Lofton knocks it down. Matthews to on the inbound. Washington. Nice pick by Matthews. Back down to Matthews. Who they're going to call. Are they calling over the back? Um. Five. Ridiculous. It was. <laughs> there's no, there's no, no way to explain that. Just ridiculous. So Neil and Scheider are in for Matthews and Washington. Looks like they're going big. Yeah. A little bit. Who's Nobody the there. <laughs> Rhode Island College ball. So Aileen with the ball. Aileen who's played a huge majority of this game. But again, so is Scheider. And Mike Neal. And 
And Rhode Island College turns it over. It's Lofton with the ball. Moving it back, McGinnis for three. Knocks it down. And it's now a five point game. What was once a double digit game now, down to five points. Differential, 39-34, <laughs> Rhode Island College. Dribble with the ball at the top of the key to Scheider. Scheider down to Aline. Aline gets it down to Neal, back to Aline for three. And no good, rims it out. Lofton with another rebound. Gets it down and Murphy scores. They need a timeout. And they're not gonna call one just yet, I guess. Rhode Island College up by three. Schreider back to Aileen. Yeah. Looking to slow the game down a little bit. Neil back out to Aileen. Go ahead, Mike. And Neil, no good, and they just missed it over the back on Lofton. Aline, getting it out to Tribble. Back to Aline, back to Tribble. Down to Burton. Burton loses it, another turnover. McGinnis brings it up and block. Oh, oh, really? Clean bl <laughs> block by Tribble there. Wow. Actually, that was a foul. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, he hit him. He hit him like after he blocked him. Oh, like yeah, they called it on the block. Oh, they called it on the block. It's yeah. I guess they can. Oh, let's see if it's a good foul though. He, he misses it first. True. I think he can foresee another a foul, I guess. Yeah, foresee <laughs> contact. <laughs> Psychic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve Nash moved over to the other side. Well, he doesn't want us around. Yeah. <laughs> Aline passes it to Tribble. Back to Aline, to Scheider. He, he sold, he tried to <laughs> yeah, sell he it. Yeah, he tried to sell it. Scheider, long. long three. No good. And Rick has gone cold this half. McGinnis passes it to Clark. Clark to Gibson, who turns it over to Scheider. Nice pass. And Tribble scores. And timeout Time Bridgewater. Bridgewater. What a game it's been so far. That has been a good game. About 12 minutes left in the game, and it's a four point differential. Rhode Island College 41, Bridgewater 37. And we did have, at one point, we did have a double digit lead. And what just happened there was defense just broke down. I feel like it was more along the lines of good shooting from Bridgewater as opposed to defense. I mean, their defense, I wouldn't completely blame the defense. No, it's not completely on it, but they also, did break down. Also, we can't buy it. We couldn't buy a shot. You're right. Yeah. They're just the bad shot. And it looks like we're going to get an update. Yeah. I think we just got to get the ball to the middle more, too. That's where we're scoring most of our points, right from the middle. Thank you very much, sir. We got another update here. So we'll keep you on track. Yeah, so far in the second half, Rhode Island College is only 22% shooting as opposed to 67 percent from Bridgewater State. Jarrell Washington is in for Chris Burton. Chris Burton's still on the floor. I'm sorry for Terrence Tribble. Barrett Murphy, four, three. Barrett Murphy just knocked down a three to make it a one-point game. Aileen with the ball.
back to Aileen from Washington. Back to Washington. Back to Aileen. Aileen moving in to Burton. Shot, knocks it down for two. McGinnis with the ball to Clark. Clark gives it to Lawson. Gibson now. Clark calling for the ball. And Murphy. Shot. Knocks it down. Barrett Murphy now with 11 points. Also, Michael Lawson with 11 points to lead the way for Bridgewater. And Rebound Burton. Burton to Aline. Aline bringing the pass half court now. Back to Burton. Burton, three. No good. Rebound Murphy. Aline playing tightly on McGinnis. And timeout Bridgewater. So it's been the story of the second half. Possibly turnovers. Turnovers? They're turning over the ball a lot. 15 turnovers. Yeah. As opposed to Bridgewater, 12 as of whenever this was handed to us. And we have this song coming on again. <laughs> again. It's an excellent song, by the way. Good choice. Yeah, I need some Slayer in this place. Stands are filling up. And yeah, turnovers have just been been way too many. So Maz and DeAndre are in for uh, Bridgewater and Pat Matthews is in for Rhode Island College. Shot clock. Yeah, Nash. Shot clock violation. Shot clock violation Bridge. No points. Steve Nash coming all the way across the court to make clutch. that call. <laughs> what the clutch? <laughs> so Tribble is in for Aline. <coughs> and Washington will be the point guard for now. Washington passes it to Scheider. Scheider to Tribble. Matthews calling for it. Oh. Picked off by Lofton. And Lofton just moves right around him. And Bridgewater now has the lead. Washington. On the left wing. Gets it to Tribble. Tribble with it back to Scheider. Scheider to Washington. Fakes the three. Moves it around. Down to Matthews. Ten seconds back left. to Scheider. Scheider to Washington. Gotta watch the shot clock. Nice pass. Down to Tribble and in. Timeout. And timeout taken by Rhode Island College. So Rhode Island College with two timeouts left. Bridgewater Rhode State with three. And this presentation by Anchor TV is brought to you by... When it comes to furniture and mattresses, nobody beats Cardi's furniture. Nobody. Hmm. It's brought to you by people. Uncle yeah, Cardi's yeah, sure. Pasta, pipe, yeah, why not? Is a proud sponsor of Rick Athletics. Stop in for lunch, so for as we, dinner, as we look at this days, here. Take advantage of Rick discounts. It just ID seems like it just seems like um, Bridgewater is just becoming efficient. They're just shooting because yeah, and uh, turnovers because it seems like we're dominating. They don't have second chance points because we're taking all the second chances. You're right. You know the rebounds. 
So, like, I mean, they only had three offensive rebounds. That means that they had to have scored <laughs> or they wasn't getting the ball back. For the game, Bridgewater State is only 40% from the free throw lines as opposed to Rhode Island College is not much better, but 70%, just about 70%, which isn't much better talking free throws, but still more, more in the positive. Thank you. We get another update. Thank you very much, sir. What a good kid. Great kid. He'll be a great <laughs> messenger. Yeah, brought to you by the news kid. Yeah. He gets points. Yeah. So Aline is in now for Washington. And Gibson almost loses it. DeAndre up to Lawson. To Murphy. Back out to. He saved himself from a backcourt violation. Yeah. Was it, is it eight seconds in college? Yes. Still eight seconds? Okay. Well, the eight second violation, not a backcourt violation. Yeah, I mean, you know what I, I see meant. what you're saying. I didn't, know if it, I didn't know what it was in college, if it stayed at eight. Ah, nice <laughs> block by Tribble. I'm surprised I didn't call a foul. And Aline controlling the offense. Tribble. Aline shooting at 40% from the field goal. Matthews gets it back to the corner. Aline's no good. But Matthews rebound back up and in. Story of the game. Three-point Rhode Island College lead, 47-44, as we have about seven minutes left in the game. So Moss, back to Lofton, to DeAndre. To Loft, to Moss, to Put the moves Murphy. On. Air mails it, rebound, Matthews. Aline, bringing it up the court. Now to the wing with Tribblers. To the corner to Burton, to Matthews. Long three. Oh. Knocks oh, it man. down. Knocks it down. Huh? Roosevelt Scheider. With a long three. Six point Rhode Island College lead. He launched it. In think, Bridgewater. I think, I think that might have woke him up. Huh? I think that might have woke him up. Oh, absolutely. No, that was the first three Ricks made. And it was a clutch three. Yeah. How do you feel like this game's been? It's been great. It's been nice, fast paced. What do you think they could do differently? Differently. Shut down the fast breaks. Shut down the fast breaks. And by doing that, stop turning the ball over. Contest the rebounds. You said contest the rebounds. Yes. I can understand that. Yes. But yeah, Rhode Island College has turned the ball over 17 times as compared to 13 from Bridgewater State. Yeah, tied with blocks and steals. Mm -hmm. um, Bridgewater up by two. Assist? Yes. As far as Aline kind of flirting with a triple double. Pardon? 13, 7, and 6. Six minutes, six and a half minutes to go. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. I believe so Tyler DeMello. I believe he's going to come up short on both ends. Mm -hmm. He's going to score. He's, he's been keeping the team alive. Absolutely. DeAndre passes it to Clark. To Murphy. From DeMello back to Murphy. And McGinnis coming in for DeAndre. And it's going to be Bridgewater ball. For whatever reason. I thought that was Rhode Island College ball for sure. They they it definitely missed a tra no, it was huge a block. travel too. Oh okay, it was a block though. Hmm. Five, four. So Clark three, and stolen by Aline. And one. Oh, couldn't make it. But and he one. will be at the line shooting two. We'll foul. see. We'll see if it was a good foul in a sec. Well, it was a fast break, so it's always a good. Even if, even if he misses one, it counts. You're right. Unless he misses two, then it's a bad foul. Yeah, if he misses two, it's a good foul. If he makes them both. Wow. 
Well, yeah. I don't think there's a choice there. Is that a foul? We'll give the free knocks shot. Down, yeah. Knocks down the first. Yeah, it looks like we're up by seven. We've been getting the lead. And he misses the second one. It's Lofton gets it up to Murphy. Gets it up to the Clark. Back to Lofton. Oh, nice crossover. And he just couldn't finish it. Nope. And you said he was Durant. <laughs> he looked like Durant. He looks like Durant. <laughs> well played there, no Durant. Eileen. Hey. To Burton. That's to Shida. Before the shot, they'll call. So Lofton charged with the foul, which is his third. Ali, nice pick set by Matthews. Nice drive. And it's going to be an over-the-back foul on Gibson. Where are they right now? Fair Four? Oh, five team fouls. Right, yes. That's his third personal. Team fifth. So Matthews makes his first. 52-44. Eight point Rhode Island College lead. And he makes them both. So Gibson into McGinnis. Nine point game. McGinnis. Out to DeMello. Who's he passing that to? And Gibson just didn't have anybody to pass it. He got the he got Nash yeah. playing again. <laughs> 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 Nash is doing tiring, yeah. buddy. Aline uh, bringing the ball up. Clark trying to steal it. The pick. Yeah, nice screen by Matthews. And another nice one by Burton. Tribble. Moving around. And they're going to call. We also have another ref in the fan. Yeah, S same, one same one as before. Same, same one? Yeah. He needs to get his job there. Team Apparently. six. Terrence dribbles up the line. Shooting two. He actually had a point on that. There was a whistle before the ball even came out of his hand. So Tribble misses his first. So it was a good foul There's by Bridgewater. Number 23, Barrett Murphy. Replaces Tyler DeMello. Tribble misses them both. Rebound from Lofton right back to McGinnis. Lofton back to McGinnis. Clark off the screen for three, knocks it down. That was nice. 53 47, six point lead. Put the moves on him. <laughs> he put the moves on him. Aline dumped it down to Burton, who can't score. Burton's had an off night so far. So McGinnis. Moving around him. And they're going to call a foul. Getting close. And McGinnis will be at the line shooting two. So Aline with the this foul, and that's his fourth. And they're not taking him out here. McGinnis knocks down his first. Rebound Burton, one out of two.
Aline back to Scheider who drives in. Oh, looking for Matthews, but Matthews didn't see it. <laughs> that was not a foul. No. It's not a foul on Burton. A team limit. So Murphy will be at the line shooting one and one. Are they in the bonus? Yeah. And he makes them both. And it's a two point, uh, three point game again. Like a seesaw battle. <laughs> Aline with the ball. Passes it to Tribble. Oh, watch the step. <laughs> <laughs> Tribble to Aline. Aline driving in. Up and scores. Too easy. So Aline with 16 points. Really? A reach in? You, hear, you heard the ball. <laughs> I know it's funny. You know it's funny? Yeah. Steve Nash was talking to him. Telling him how to pass the ball. Yeah. <laughs> we're always talking about the people in the fan being, co being refs. Yeah, we're, we're, we're being refs. Yeah, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> we need a job as refs. Yeah. Probably get fired the first day, but it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, experience. Uh-oh, Nash can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you see that face? Yeah. That face is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> so Kyle Gibson at the left. And he makes it first. So he'll get a second shot. Wait, wh what kind of fall is this? What was this happening? Is it reaching? Oh, yeah, we were in the bonus. And he makes them both. Technically, Bridgewater is in the bonus. And what was this? Five second violation, Anchorman. Five seconds. Anchorman substitutions, number 10, Joel Washington. So Jarrell Washington and Mike Neal come in for Eileen and Pat Matthews. Clark passes it up to Gibson, gives it to McGinnis. And he won't score, but he'll be at the line. And they're coming right back in. So. Out goes Jarrell. Out go <laughs> yep, out go Washington and Neal. For Aline and Matthews. And McGinnis makes them both. Looks like they're getting clutch on the free throws. Yeah. One point game here <laughs> with almost two minutes to go. And that one sounds familiar. Do you see an overtime? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll lean with the ball. I'll lean. Oh, yeah, Shida's. And picked off by McGinnis. A oh nice play one. by by Matthews. So Matthews on Lofton. Burton on McGinnis. Aline on Gibson. And Gibson just sized him up and scored. 
That was a little bit of a mismatch there. It was. I found who it is, by the way. Who was it? If you look right behind you, you'll see. <laughs> I just stopped. Brown coat. Brown coat next to green shirt. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yep. Fair personal ball. Coming to number 33, Kyle Gibson. So Matthews. That's his fourth personal. We'll be at the line. Pat Matthews at the line. Shooting two. Oof. And he misses the first one. And he makes a second. Tie game. Anchorman substitution number 45, Mike Neal. So Neal and for Matthews. Neal, Aline, Burton, Tribble, and Scheider. The starting lineup in for Rhode Island College. Driving violation. So Rhode Island College ball after the travel. He just lost. <laughs> he just lost his footing, huh? Yeah. And uh, what can you do? That pressure, <laughs> huh? So I lean with the ball. Forty seconds to go in the game. Matthews scores. 58-56, Rhode Island College. Shot clock is off. With a clutch layup. 29 seconds in the game. This is coming down to be a close one. Seems like the first game all over again. It is 28.9. Seconds. With 29 seconds to go in the game, what do you do? Do you foul, do you not foul? Being up by two. And do you foul risking the three-pointer? Uh, not risking the three-pointer. Yes. You think Rick should foul? I'm asking you what you think about it. I'm going to have to say. I'm They're going to put their three-point shooters in. Yeah, if you foul, do you, don't you get the one and one? No, not at this point, I don't believe. Wow. No, an intentional foul is going to be two shots, right? Huh? Wouldn't an intentional foul be two shots, no matter what? Yeah, but, oh, yeah, true. They have to do it intentionally. Um, I guess they can just go um, physical defense, and if it's a foul, they get a one and one, right? Maybe. They might just have to play um, man on, like, one on one. Well, man on man um, coverage, just pressure. Yep, full court press. It looks like they're gonna hold the ball for the last shot though. Yeah. Murphy. To Clark, Clark, to Murphy. Back to Clark, to Gibson. And it's Rhode Island College ball. Eight seconds. Ball, eight seconds left. So they better put their uh, free throw shooters in. Because you know they have to, they're going to have to foul Time right out. away. The ref's talking it up, Directed. except Steve Nash. Out, He's talking to the, talking to the press people. So eight seconds left in the game. What do you have to say? I have to say it's a tight game, but I'm yeah. going. I'm going for. Um, I think Rick's going to pull through. Absolutely. I believe there's going to be a foul. They're going to make one of them. And uh, Chris was going to miss the, miss uh, the three. three. Yeah. To bold prediction. Huh? 
bold prediction. It is a bold prediction, isn't it? A little bit. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we make them both. Make them both? We're, there's going to be a foul. Or do you miss intentionally with that little time left? No, nah, probably not. If you're going to miss intentionally, <laughs> miss the second one. Yeah, no, well, that's what I meant. And there's the foul. There's the foul. And if he hits them both. If he hits them both. There's still six seconds left. Six and a half both, seconds left. If he missed them both, it's all right. Yeah, well, running number 14, Justin Clark. That's his fourth personal. There's 6.5 seconds left in the second half. So Aline one one. at the line shooting one and one. Oh, snap. And he misses it. And Bridgewater calls their last time out. Ah, oh, man. What did I tell you? Although, yeah, neither I, of us were I right. didn't expect him to get a one and one, though. Yeah, me I, either. I thought, that would be I a thought intentional would be foul, two, yeah. two, two. Yeah, two. Bridgewater. So five seconds left in the game. And it's been, it's been a battle. It has been a battle. Didn't he have the ball inbound when he called the timeout? So shouldn't they have it at half court? I don't know these college rules. Huh, I'm yeah, it's weird. I'm not gonna pretend like I know them. And he misses it at Rhode, I Rhode Island College. Wins by a score. What did I say? 58-56, neither of us were right. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah we were both right on the miss of three, though. Oh, I said he final score, Rhode I Island College, 58. Bridgewater State University, 56, right here on Anchor TV. Stay tuned for a couple interviews. Sir. So, Coach, excellent game tonight for you guys. Um, this is your first year coaching, Rick. How are the, how's the guys? How are the players? It's been unbelievable. Coach Walsh did a great job. We did a very strong foundation. Kids know how to play hard. They know how to play together. They really know how to defend. Uh, it's truly been a great game. Excellent. Um, the first half, you guys dominated. The second half seemed a little rocky. What happened there? Um, you want to know what? They're a good team. I mean, they're averaging 84 points a game. We hold them to 56. I mean, I, I knew that they were going to make a run at us. I would like we would have liked to seen us make better decisions down the stretch. But obviously, it's early. When it was time to get a stop, we stepped up and we got a stop. Oh, you, did, uh, you guys did excellent. Um, also, I've seen you guys dominating on our rebounds. Was that like... Well, is that regular basis? Well, or? Uh, that's one of the things we do. We have so many rebounding drills that the guys love. Um, yesterday we worked on a, a rebounding drill called uh, Triangle, and they killed each other, and they battle each other every single day. So when we get into the games, it's easy. They used to beating the crap out of each other every day, but when they get into practice, when they get into the game, it's like you want to know what we do this every single day. This is who we are. All right, last question, sir. Um, how does this game speak about the season? Um, I'm still learning. I mean, I'm still learning. I mean, obviously, I was in Division One the last four years, uh, so this is a learning process for me. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is I know I have a lot of character on my team. Um, when things started going bad and they took the lead late, a lot of teams may get down on themselves and feel bad, uh, but they stepped up and made just enough plays uh, to get the win. Excellent. And you guys, I hope you guys have a great year. Thank and that was an excellent game. Thank you very much, Drell. I appreciate it. Here yep. you go. Take care of my man, Eric. Yes, I will. So Anchorman's point, well, Anchorman's guard, Eric Galeen. How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I seen that you were just a few points, a few rebounds, and a few assists shy of a triple double. How did you feel this game was? Um, we just grinded it out. Uh, we got up ahead early to start the half. They made a run, and we knew they were going to make a run, but we knew that we were also going to make a run. So. We just toughed it out at the end. Would you say this is one of your better games? 
uh, statistically, I guess, but um, I feel like the team, uh, they look to me uh, for my leadership and uh, my ability to step up and help. And so I was just trying to do the best I can to help our team win. Well, you guys came up with the victory. Um, is there anything you could have done differently? Close out on shooters, uh, sunk under the basket to help help the helper, all kinds of stuff on defense. Uh, coach is definitely going to talk to us in about it on film tomorrow. Excellent. Um, I noticed that you guys, um, what year is this for you? Uh, my senior year. Your senior year? You've been here for all four years? Two, Two years. years. Yes, sir. Okay, how does it feel changing coaches within like one year? Um, it's tough. It's a tough transition. I'm used to it. I've had four coaches in four years, so uh, it's just another obstacle. Uh, like our coach says, uh, adversity creates character, and uh, we're just along for the ride. All right, excellent. Um, final question. How do you feel about the upcoming freshmen coming in? They're awesome, man. Putting in work. Yeah, they're uh, right now, it's a lot of freshmen, they don't always get a chance to play right away. But our freshmen, because of depth issues and uh, just a new system, they got thrown right into the fire. So we're just going to we're just gonna rock out with them. All right, excellent. This was Eric, Elaine. Nice to meet you. Nice talking to you. Yeah. Hope you have a good season. Thank you. Yep. Oh, this is Jarrell James. Um, and um, Rhode Island College beats Bridgewater State 58 to 56. Y'all have a nice day.